Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to export data from SQL table into multiple Excel sheets of a single Excel workbook. Single Excel workbook in SSS. So here first I will show my data in table. So this is this is my data. Table name is ICC in cricket and the Sports is my database. You observe the data, rank, name, country, rating, and format are, are my uh, column names. So rank in the, in the format you observe, there are three types of crickets are there. Cricket formats, T20, ODI, and the test. So these are the ranks given by the ICC. And these are the name of the players and country and their rating. So this is how my data looks like. So here I am taking top 10 uh, uh, ranking players in both three formats. That is total number of rows uh, that 30 rows are there. So now I want to export this data in, into my Excel sheet. Here I have Excel sheet icc.cricket is the Excel sheet name. So in this Excel sheet, it should have sheet name that is sheet 1, 2 or 3. The data will loaded in the three cricket formats into she under sheet names as, as sheet names. So initially there is only sheet name there in the sheet by default. So here we want to load we want to load the data of T20 ODI test. Create the name with ODI, T20 and test and load the test and records as per the given columns in the SQL table. So how to do that? So the sheet is, Excel workbook is only one workbook but we can load the data in different multiple sheets in the sense three sheets T20, ODI and, and test and how to load all this um, all this data in three different sheets I will show in this demo. So first I will close this window. I am using my source is OLEDB source. So the table I have in um, SQL table. So later I am using the conditional script transformation. So I write the condition for the format, cricket format, I write the condition in the condition script. Later, I, um, I split the data into three parts, which is Excel destination. So this is how my package looks like. Taking this new package, select the click the new OLEDB connection, take your connection, admin is my server name, sports is my database name, and click OK. And second connection manager here I am taking it as a new connection and because I want to load the data into Excel files, Excel sheets. So I'm adding the Excel and browsing the the sheet name here is IC, ICC underscore cricket and take this and click OK. I'm dragging the OLDB source. Before that I'm taking data for task. Double click and drag the OLDB source. Double click to configure. So we already connected the OLDB manager. Automatically it will connect. Just you want to select your table. So here my table is ICC cricket. So columns, if you check the columns, these, these are the four columns. Click OK. After that, I am dragging the transformation called condition script. 
connecting the source with the conditional script. Double click to configure. Here you need to write your condition. So I am mentioning this format and within single quotes, first to write T20. And you mentioned here is that T20. And in second condition, I am writing it as a ODI. That is second format. So here I may, I may make it as a output name as ODI. So next default one is one, one default one is there. Here you mention just test and click OK. Now the condition script is configuration is done. Now you drag the destination, Excel destination. You have to take three destinations here. Split the data. So here I am connecting the condition split with the Excel, Excel sheet and take the first one as T20 and click OK. So, here it is very important. So, there is only one sheet name here. So, we want to, uh, if you want to get the uh, all columns from the table, you need to uh, take a new, new, new button. Click the new, it will create automatically one table. So, just you mention the T20 here, it is automatically take. These are the columns that are there in the SQL. So uh, the names and columns and the data types, everything will come automatically. Just to click this. Otherwise, if you go to mapping, so you, you cannot mapping. You cannot map the required columns in from the source. In source, there are five columns are there, but in destination we have only one column. So if you want to get all columns, you have to go with the new. When you click the new, automatically it will create one table in Excel sheet and click OK and OK. Now you can select the uh, drop down box. This uh, T20 with the dollar symbol and select. Now you get the all columns. This is how you need to do at the time of the loading the data from SQL to Excel. So this is configuration is done. Now you go to this one. Here you need to take the ODI and click double click to configure. Here also you need to do same thing. First initially select the sheet dollar. change the name as ODI and click OK and select the ODI with the dollar symbol and check the, check the mapping. Now everything is mapped here. Even if you select the ODI only mapping it will came but we use to select with the dollar symbol click OK. Now this will be finished. And third one is to here is the dragging by the test automatically take. I am changing this with ODI. This is test. <coughs> now configure double click and select first the sheet. Go to new. Click OK and test will come automatically. Click OK and select your <coughs> sheet test with dollar symbol mapping. So uh, configuration is done for uh, all 
three cricket formats. So whenever you run the package, this Excel sheet that is ICC underscore underscore the data will be dumped into the into the ten rows in each sheet with the T twenty ODI and test as a sheet name. That, uh, that is how the data will, will happen. So, see here, we already those three sheet names are already created. T twenty ODI test with same column. Whenever we run the package, so all data will dump into the respective sheet name under sheet name. But one thing here is only difference here. Earlier we we don't export the data directly in different sheets and one sheet. But here the issue is here the key point is we are loading the data from one table into one single sheet with multiple Excel sheets. That is the key factor here in this package. No? I am running the package. First, 30 rows are loaded. After splitting the data, 10 rows are separated in each three Excel destination, multiple sheets. So, this is how you need to load the data. First, you check your Excel sheet. T20 ODI test. So this is how you need to export your table data into multiple Excel sheets. The only key point is here is creating the um, sheet name of them. at the time of the uh, loading the data into the Excel destination. At the time you need to Select the sheet name and go to new so, so that you will get the all columns from the OLD source. Otherwise, you cannot get the uh, all columns from the source OLDB to map and to uh, load the data. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.